So what I mean, what do you say to someone who says that the that the Trinity, first of all, we hear this all the time, well, the word Trinity isn't in the Bible. Um, what do you say to someone who says the tr- the Trinity was a was a fabrication of the church fathers? Well, again, when we come to the Reformation, uh, or well, let's go much earlier. When we come to the the uh, apostles and the forming of the ecclesia that Yeshua promised to build, right? He said, "I will build my ecclesia, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it." Now, that doesn't mean he's starting something new. It seems to me what he's saying there is, "I'm going to." fulfill i am i am fulfilling the promise made to abraham in your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed which means when he says i will build my ecclesia it means that to those believing uh, remnant of israel we're going to be added the, the elect from all the nations in over a period of time now when you begin to see this forming of this ecclesia that includes now the elect in in large proportions from the nations you begin to have this issue of how do we explain the multiplicity in personhood of God, and yet that he is the one and only God, because those coming out of the nations are coming with a polytheistic view of things. So you immediately have this issue that goes on, and the apostles are very clear in their writing, as they were born along by the Holy Spirit, according to Peter, right, in his epistle, um, holy men of God spoke as they were born along or carried along by the Holy Spirit, they were given the task of using language that would be both singular and multiplicity when it comes to the Godhead. Right. And that became an issue then in terms of how did, and this is, again, my perspective, uh, I'm not the only one who has it, but it was then the dividing away of the traditional synagogue from the emerging Christian church that brought all of this to a head, and that's far ahead of, uh, or before you have something like the Roman Catholic Church or, or those, that kind of thing. The, the question is, how do we formulate this with a increasing number, and shall we say a majority of Gentile believers coming into uh, this ecclesia, or uh, which is usually translated church in your Bibles, in your English Bibles. So uh, th- this is where the where it comes. And did, were there heretics? Of course there were. You have Marcion, my goodness, at the very beginning, you know, early on in the emerging Christian church saying that the God of the Old Testament is different than the God of the, of the New Testament. Even Tertullian, right? Tertullian uh, took the, the new prophecy and, and ran with it. after That was after his, his formation of, of uh, Trinitarian doctrine within his writings. But the point is, is that you, have, you do have these heretical beliefs coming in and out of, of Christianity in the beginning. But, the, but I think one of the main points that needs to be made here is, is once again, that Judaism was already having the, these debates. One of the reasons that John's gospel, uh, that he can talk about the Logos within the first chapter of his, of his work, uh, and, and people know what he's talking about, is because the Logos theology was already being used. And it was being used by people like Philo. Philo uses the Logos theology. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and check out more videos from Messiah Matters.